Hello everybody and welcome to the next battle report in the First Crusade narrative campaign. We are back and today we are going to be playing sort of a, a relief mission um, of a Byzantine fort which is under siege. Now, as you can see, we've already set up the table. Uh, it's quite open, and that's because we're going to have fairly large armies. Um, but as we're fighting in front of a fort, it made sense that the area was clear in front of it. So what I'll do, uh, I'll quickly recap what we've done in the campaign, what's led to this, uh, this action here. Uh, then we'll roll through deployment and armies, and we'll just crack on with it. Um, but up here, you can see... We've got the palisaded Byzantine fort. This is one section of it. The rest of it carries on for hundreds of meters in either direction. So the gates are somewhere else. This is just one side of it. And there will be a uh, substantial Seldric force deployed in front of it. And then some crusaders coming to relieve it. Uh, now we've had to come up with a name for a fort. And uh, Robin, um, in his, his diligent research, has come up with a name Fort Kafiki. Which, uh, do you want to translate that? What does that mean? Chamber pot, apparently, or potty. Potty. So, fort potty, fort chamber pot. Uh, the Greeks, uh, well, the Byzantines are... Uh are in Fort Potty. So um, that's what we're going to be fighting over. What we'll do, we'll roll, just have a quick recap of the, uh, the movements in the campaign, and then we'll get on with deployment. Right, so here is the campaign map as it stood. Now, if you uh, go back and watch the last video, and I'll leave a link to it in the description below, you'll have seen how all of the campaign mechanics are working. We're not going to roll through all that again here. If you'd like to see that, go, go and have a, a look at that video. But essentially, in that video, we deployed our armies for this campaign phase. And down here in the last game, one of my divisions fought against two of Robins defending a village. The Seljuks were successful in repelling the Crusaders. In the middle, neither myself or Robin actually committed any troops, um, which meant that up here, which we're playing this now, Robin uh, committed his largest force of troops, and I sent two units of troops to uh, basically try and take this fort. Now, the way this is going to work is that this is a overall relief mission. My larger of my two divisions will start deployed on the table at the start of the game, within 18 inches of the, the walls of the fort. As you can see, we've created a bit of a plateau that the fort is on. Um, so I'll be starting essentially sort of in this sort of semicircle here, laying siege, as it were, or just in the attack. I don't have any siege equipment. It's not that kind of game. It's not a sort of a direct attack. Um, the army is encircling and the attack is on the main gate. Robin's forces will enter from this side of the table. They'll be deployed along the ridge line at the, the back here. He'll have a 12-inch deployment zone. And Robin's job is to sweep down this hill and engage the Seldrick forces. Now we've got um, some normal victory conditions in here, which is that as standard, if you watch our games, that you, you get one victory point at the end of the game for each enemy unit that is shaken and two victory points for each unit that has either left the board and can't return or is routed. Now we've both got a bonus objective that we can complete. Ro if Robin has more units on the plateau, so if he can get all of his units down or any of his units down the hill through the Seldrick lines and up onto the plateau, then he will receive five victory points at the end of the game if he has units um, on there helping to defend the castle. That's not more units than Seldricks, that's just units that are up there um, that are non-shaken. Myself, I have a bonus objective, which is if Robin at the end of the game has no troops past the halfway point, so if he's got nobody past the middle of the table, I'll receive five bonus points because I've managed to repel the relief force and the siege um, basically is successful and we've managed to sort of, you know, take the uh, take the fort. Now, I have two divisions, so one of my divisions will be starting on the table, which will be my largest one, and then I have a relief division which can arrive from turn three. Uh, and that can come on either from the north on that um, sort of the middle 12 inches there or it can come on from the south here now as you can see the table is very open the uh, walls here count as impassable the forest here this is all counts as one large wood here um, so is impassable except for skirmishers over here um, that is a complete wood so again apart from skirmishers so we're going to have a bit of a bottleneck in there but it, robin should 
fly down there and then just to keep things interesting here's a farm that is supplying the fort with food and then they've cleared everything here a couple of special things about the scenario these towers which robin has deployed and decided where they're going count as a small unit of light infantry so essentially armed with bows so they will get a two dice shooting attack in each of robin's phases that can target anything within 18 inches so they'll just be firing some arrows out the byzantines are just in there because they want to see what's going on so 18 inches in that one and 18 inches this one will be firing out we're going to be playing six turns and then rolling for a seventh as normal um it's going to be quite a fast game and uh really we want to just get stuck into it so what we're going to do we're going to deploy our initial forces and then we'll roll through the commanders that we've brought along and uh, the armies that are going to be fighting so we'll see you in a second Okay, so the armies are deployed, or the initial armies anyway. Uh, so here you can see my uh, sort of attacking Seljuk force. Um, I should actually say we you can we attack towers the towers have basically got um the strength and stamina of a small shooting unit but with a four plus uh, morale value so if i can get some troops up there i can shoot at them um, just to try and get those uh, you know to stop the shots so if i can destroy them they will count as a, uh, a victory point at the end, end of the game so there is a point to me actually going up there um here we are so here is my attacking force and then up on the uh, the bluff here up on the hill are the crusaders. You might notice that Robin's brought along a catapult, uh, which we thought would be a bit of fun that we realised wasn't actually in our army list. So we're going to be updating the army list um, after this battle report as well. So um, what we'll do, we'll roll through the forces. So the character who this chap down here who's uh, standing next to the big unit that is kamal adin he is, has a strategy rating of eight a combat modifier of plus two and he had six force points and that's because at the start of the campaign when we were rolling for the traits he got a man of wealth so he's got significant estates and money so he can afford to bring more men However, the downside is he's also got an illness. Um, so before the game begins, we're going to be rolling to see how that illness affects him. It could be really bad and his strategy rating could go down or his combat modifier. Or it could be lucky and he's had a good day. My other commander is um, is called Amet. He has a strategy rating of 8 plus 2 combat modifier, but only 4 force points. Because unlike this chap, his lands are completely empty. So he, uh, he'll he only be bringing 4 force points worth of troops along. However, he has an ability called the... Uh, he is a servant of the Sultanate. And one unit of light cavalry under his command can be designated as drilled. Now, I haven't deployed his forces yet, but essentially he is turning up with a unit of elite light cavalry who are now also drilled as well a unit or small unit of heavy cavalry a small unit of camel riders some elite crossbow and marksmen and some syrian levy already deployed on the table um, under kamal adin we have some syrian uh, levy sorry syrian turkish levy archers we have one unit of light cavalry here we have some heavy infantry mercenary there we have heavy infantry elite um there and we have some more light cavalry over there so i've gone with some quite deep blocks we decided it made sense that they had to face this way first turn is going to be robins anyway um so we shall see how things uh, things turn out we should have probably said at the start my deployment zone was 18 to 28 so i had a 10 inch sort of band that i had to deploy in so that we actually got a bit of a sort of you know a crescent around um the fort um but we'll go over to robin who can walk us through what he's taken so my commander is Hugh de Caprino and he is the wealthy the wealthy guy on our small small band so he again he got the extra force point however also <laughs> like he, uh, your, he also suffers well he suffers from gout you've decided he's got gout, gout and you've named him after a cheese anyway yes which is I feel like they might be linked um, so yes yeah, so he got six force points to bring with him but we will be rolling to see whether or not he's affected by painful toes <laughs> uh, this battle so he brought with him two units of heavy cavalry because I need to be getting down there yeah, quickly you've got to, yeah get down this slope and, and into the uh, the lines here two units of heavy infantry and then you can't turn up to a siege without a catapult no but usually Even I should have the catapult um, you're, you, you're going with the uh, blasting it into the yeah uh, we, the we brought it with us because we need to that's it, because you didn't want to break in. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
this is, we, just, we said that because this is on the hill and where it is, it can see across um, to my units there. And um, we should probably just say the units of heavy infantry are one force point each. The heavy cavalry are one point five points each. That's why he's only got five units. Um, so these guys are really the uh, the mainstay of his army. Um, this is his entire army. My army will be turning up hopefully on turn three or any turn afterwards. Um, first turn is going to Robin's side, but before we do that, we've got to work out what illnesses, if any, are affecting our commanders. Okay, so I'm going to roll for my commander. I got a four. Uh, no, uh, so he's suffering minus one strategy rating at this game. So he's uh, he's suffering from um, I don't know a migraine or something. So he's down to strategy rating seven. He's probably dehydrated. Yeah. <laughs> Yours? Oh no, he's fine. He's fine. Fate has been merciful, and you have no ill effects this game, which is not squad. good for me. My squad pixie. Oh dear. Uh, so there we go. Right. So it's over to Robin for turn one. We're just going to get stuck in. Oh, before we get started, should probably say we've taken on board what uh, some of the comments that we had from the last game. As we said, this is an evolving campaign system. So what we have now, because uh, we have a bit of an aftermath phase, is uh, a draw. Or it will be a draw if the difference in victory points is 0 to 5. It will be a minor victory for one side or a minor defeat for the other if the difference is 6 to 12. And 13 or more counts as a major victory. And if it's a draw, there's a separate table that we roll on. The worst that can really happen is you just lose one, one of your force points for attrition and men running away. Maybe some people will be weary in the next game. However, it's you have to actually suffer a minor defeat at least before you um, start suffering the things where you lose two or more force points and also you need actually a minor victory before you get the thing where you actually start people start getting a bit actively better and promoted so there we go let's get stuck into it this is the battle of fort kafiki turn one let's go Okay, so an interesting first crusader turn. Robin, you want to talk us through it? So I did debate using the follow me order and sending the commander with them, but that seemed a little bit too bold. So, it's not quite Alexander, is he? He's yeah, uh, no. Or Alexander did have gout anyway. No, so they made a charge. Yes, that it's the best chance I've got against them, isn't it? While, you need to I'm put some early casualties. Yeah. I think it's unlike. I mean, I don't know. I think it's unlikely you'll break them, but no, it's some early it's casualties. The best chance of doing something to them because obviously they're, they're a big, big yeah. unit. They're coming down to support, and then just I brought one unit of infantry around this way. Yes, they'll be out of command slightly, but I don't want to just have everything in the middle. Uh, they just made the one move. Obviously, catapults don't move anyway. That's it. So, so in fact, the catapults your only range unit, isn't it? Uh, yes, because you're about range of the towers because we know that you deploy. That's it. Away. Now remember, I get victory points as well if I destroy the towers; they count as units. Um, so there is a benefit to me going going up the hill and have it, having a go at those. So um, and you were considered to be engaged with the tower. I don't think we said in the preamble if I basically yeah. engage these sections in front of them. Uh, so you've got men climbing up and throwing things and all sorts. So. Uh, shooting then, it's your catapult, Just isn't it? Now three. the catapult is a forty-eight inch range. Um, it can't target anything within six inches, so you can't blast anything hiding in there. So, no trees for you. Uh, and it gets free shooting dice. So, where do you want? So going to go to for the shoot? light cavalry. They are the closest unit. You don't have to shoot them because they're not a clear target. Because they're in. Because they are in open order. Uh, I'll still go for them in the open order. Okay, so uh, you get three dice. They you're minus one because you're over. 12 inches, yep. and you're minus one because they're in open order, so you're hitting on sixes. All right, go for it. No. 
No, all missed. So right, we need to put some rocks down. We so should have some rocks that, that, to put down. Okay, so that is all the shooting. So now it's into the close combat. Now, um, I have my very, very large unit, but of course you're attacking me in the rear. So um, I'm going to suffer a couple of negatives. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, Robin, you are charging and you have a clash of nine, don't you, for heavy cavalry. Um, and you're charging, so you're hitting on breeze. I am a large unit, and that's what these guys are. Um, they are elite heavy infantry. They normally have nine attacks, but I can only put up to half of them to fight to the rear. So they are fighting with five dice, you're rounding up in Hail Caesar. Uh, but because I'm being attacked in the, uh, in the rear, it's minus one. So I've got five dice hitting on fives and Robin has nine dice hitting on threes. Oh, I am tough fighters, so um, I get to re-roll one of those. So, um, Robin, do you want to roll first? Yeah. Hitting on threes. Okay. You got any re-rolls? Do you have any <laughs> re-rolls? No. No, no re-rolls at no, all? No. And they're not, what are they? they? Are they tough fighters or anything? No, they're just the lance. No, they're bonuses the lance. Normal knights, heavy cavalry and lances. It, you have to pay extra for Oh, okay. So, fr three hits. Okay, I am hitting on fives. Okay, uh, that's, not... that's one. Reroll one for Tough Fighter. Just one. So um, I need three saves. Now you're, I'm minus one to my morale save because of the lances. My guys have a morale of five, so I've got three saves of six to make. Oh, I am stubborn, so I can reroll one of these. Oh dear. So I've taken three casualties. Robin, you have a single save of three, I want to say? Uh, no, four. Four. So are, they, are you stubborn? No. No, okay. You've just gone for just flat out normal knights, no upgrades. So you saved. So you have won the combat by three. So I'm taking a break. To, if I lose my entire unit, I'm going to be unhappy. So um, I am taking a break test 2d6 minus three. There's no, no other modifiers. That's it. Oh, dear. <gasps> Ooh, oh, that, that was close. That was close. Uh, well, hang on. That's... Four, uh, four, oh, no. which is break if shaken, but they're nowhere near shaken yet because no. they they have a stamina of eight because they are a large unit. Yeah. So what's the result there? I don't like that. Uh, true. Uh, hand to hand, so we said four, didn't we? Yeah. Um, break if shaken. Otherwise, give ground together. Support disordered. Oh, I didn't remember supports, but they're not facing the right way. Uh, so give ground in good order, did you say? Yeah, no, give ground disordered. Give ground disordered. Okay, so I'm going to be marching off through my uh, my chaps there, closer to the arrows <laughs> from the fort. Right, we'll get everything tidied up and moving, of course, and then um, if Robin wants to, he can make a sweeping advance. Okay, so uh, my chaps have had to make two moves um, to be disordered, and they are now disordered. Annoyingly, they are now also in range of these. Um, so they are going to be taking some shots next turn, which I'm not very happy about. Uh, Robin chose to make a sweep in advance into the back of my mercenary heavy infantry unit. Um, so who would normally have seven attacks, so I'll be fighting back with four. Again, I'm hitting on fives. Robin gets nine dice, hitting on threes again. I don't know, he did pretty well. Oh, That's God. Like it, uh, five. Five, okay, so I've got... Now, these guys, those guys have slightly better morale. They have saves of four, but I'm hitting on fives. Uh, it's uh, two hits and not tough fighters or anything this unit. So you need two saves of four. One. So one casualty. And was it five? Uh, yeah, five. five uh, I need five saves of four. Uh, minus one. Minus one on the lances. Um, so I need fives. You say you had stubborn I, as well? Uh, these guys don't, know. No. Uh, so I've taken three casualties. You took one casualty. I've lost by two. So it's D6 minus, uh, two D6 minus two. Uh, that's a six. I, th I think I can. Can I hold my ground, or, or am I backing off? I'll give ground in good order. Okay. Well, they're not. So I'm gonna have to make two moves up the hill. So uh, give, and um, I'll be rolling for disorder to see if they, as they move through a disordered unit, your cavalry have punched into the uh, the Saracen lines and made a bit of a hole. Uh, let's get all of the casualties down, and uh, we'll see what happened. We've snuck into the lines. If we stay, if we don't speak French, they won't notice. If we speak French, <laughs> then no one's going to know. Right. So, I would say that was a very, very successful first turn. And as Robin has said, his ability to do that early in the game is sort of balances the scenario a little bit with what I've got potentially coming. So, he's punched in, he's forced my big unit of heavy infantry back. The other unit of heavy infantry has run up the hill, both are now in range of the fort, which I didn't really want. They didn't get disordered. 
retreating through that unit um, but they are now if they wanted to charge that unit there's some problems however i can do i want to charge his heavy cavalry or just ride around him and shoot him um i didn't expect to be in this position this early so i really need those reinforcements to turn up so that's the end of your turn you happy with how things have gone yeah i was worried when i've rolled that first lot of dice and rolled a lot of ones and twos i was just gonna end up stuck against your big unit yeah, just, and just and just in the middle, but, get but that, that's, <laughs> there's been some I movement. Got, I don't think it got much better. Right. Me. Well, let's get on then with the Seljuk turn one. Okay, so a bit of a reforming of the Seldrick lines here in response to uh, the shock attack of the Heavy Cavalry. So this unit couldn't do anything because they're disordered, so they'll undisorder at the end of this turn, ready to receive another charge, but next time they'll be fighting back with all their dice. Um, uh, which one is this? This is... Uh, Kamaladin, he's moved back um, up the hill to be with his men. Uh, the heavy infantry unit up there. Oh, sorry, he was meant. Sorry, I meant to, he there was meant go. to join them. Sorry, I haven't done my roll yet. So he was meant to join them and uh, and roll to remove a casualty. So which he has. So they are actually one less. He couldn't do that with that lot because they're disordered, so they couldn't receive oh, any orders. Everything else, was moves. everything else was on initiative moves because you. Um, you charged into me. Um, over here, my light cavalry have formed up over there. Well, I say formed up. They've ridden back to get some range on these guys. Over here, my archers have turned to fire and my light cavalry have started to, to sort of try an encircling action. But basically, everything is going to be shooting at Robin's heavy cavalry unit. I just want to get... I just want to try and force them off or disorder them so I don't receive a charge next turn. Um, although, to be fair, they will be ordered. But let's see what we do. So let's start with my unit of light cavalry over on the side there they get three dice um and i think they are just hitting on within 12 so yeah. yeah within 12 yes it's over 12 not half range isn't it that's yeah. the thing so yep yeah, they're hitting on fours okay looking for fours no re-rolls ah and you will be taking a break test at the end of a turn yeah so one save of four yep yeah. you saved it uh the next lot will be these archers uh can you just check see if they're over 12 robin no, nope. nope. so they're hitting on fours as well. Uh, one. one hit, one save of four. So one casualty. Here we go, I'll pop that down there. Uh, and then these guys as well, there'll be three dice hitting on fours. No. No! Oh, oh terrible round of shooting. So you're looking for a single break test. 2d6 straight. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> They're not going. Okay, so my plan failed. Um, very, very quick Seljuk turn. Um, so they will now be... Uh, these guys are no longer disordered. They reform. And uh, we go into the... I just realised he's in that unit and you're going to shoot him. Uh, we are going into the next Crusader turn. Right, so I don't know. Would you call that a successful turn? Something these, these happened. These guys are super keen. Yeah. So they initiative charged into my heavy into my heavy cavalry, heavy infantry. Yeah. Um, so at least I'll be fighting at full strength. But you have obviously winded that unit quite a bit already. Uh, but not a lot in the way of support. Everyone else wants to see what happens. I think. Yeah, I mean, you did try to move, but you just failed on all, all fronts. So, but you have got um, you got some shooting. Yeah, we've got, got the catapult. So we've already measured the catapult is in range of this unit of light cavalry and this unit of Syrian archers. So you can um, put them over and fight because the. Not clear, yeah, that's it. Because these don't count as a clear target. So, so do you want to fire at the archers? The Syrian archers well. Okay, all right. So you're going to have three dice. Um, you're over eighteen, aren't you? So yeah, you're hitting on fives. Right, so you need three dice hitting on fives. Oh, oh right. and it's a break test as well. Um, I need a single have any save. To it, Does so it have no modifiers? No, no. Uh, not according to Robert. Okay, all right then. So single save of uh, my archers. Six. No, so that's one casualty, uh, but I've got to take a break test. Uh, you've got no other shooting. Oh, no, you have. You've got shooting up there, so but these guys will be taking a break test. I guess these are the closest, so they are going to be. 
So you are, I think you're going to have to fire at the, the heavy infantry, so you're going to be firing into the back. So it's just going to be two, two dice one. hitting on fours. Oh, two saves of four for that lot. Oh no, so two casualties and a uh, and a break test for them. And then this one is over 12, so it'll be fives from this one. Okay, so two dice hitting on fives. No. No, okay, so I've got two break tests to make. So first of all, the archers down here who have taken a, a single casualty. They are, oh, I've already put two on there. So they are taking a break test. Six, I believe that's, is that hold your ground disordered or retreat in good order? Yes, you got the choice. Uh, I will stand my ground disordered. Uh, and then the guys up there, they're staying where they are. Yeah. Okay, well, you're put, really starting to put some uh, some damage on my units. Um, you didn't um, make me go shaken or anything, so we don't have to test for the commander in that unit. So now it's just the combat. Now you have um, nine attacks hitting on threes. I have nine attacks hitting on fours. So we're even on this one. Um, I have tough fighters, so I can reroll one. Can you go first? Yeah, it's your turn. Six. Okay. Uh, four, but I can reroll one. Four. Okay, I need six saves of five, and I have stubborn. Oh dear. Okay, so I'll save two, so I've taken four casualties in that one. You need four saves of four. Oh. Three you took three. Okay, that might have just saved saved my uh, bacon there. Um, so. I, I'm one off my stamina limit of eight, so I'm just 2d6 minus one for this. Uh, that is nine, that's eight, they're fine. It's a carry on next round. Yeah. God, it's not, well, I mean, it's, but it is, it's pretty good. I mean, you are in this turn. I mean, you won the last round, uh, so you must remember that going in. You're, um, oh, hang on. I needed saves of six. Oh, I did roll two sixes, didn't I? Yeah. Because you had lances. Yeah, you rolled two So, um, on the charge. So, um, we might have to think, do lances... Uh, yeah. There is no, there's I, no I rule for lances. We haven't lances. got broken lances. Or we haven't yeah, come up with broken so. lances or anything like we did for the Wars of the Roses. So, um, maybe we'll see how the rest of the, if it goes. But that is the, uh, that's the end of the Crusader turn. We're getting through them quite quick. Um, I've taken a lot of bloody combat in the middle there. Uh, let's go into Seldrick turn two. Okay, so um, I managed to get, well, these guys moving on initiative into support their unit there. I've only got one casualty left on them before they're uh, shaken, so I want to try and hold these up. My reinforcements potentially arrive next turn. Uh, Light Cavalry have moved in over here. Archers can't do anything. Now, remember, they're levy, so I have to actually roll to get them out of being disordered. So they're going to be shooting. We're going to be at extreme range hitting on sixes. And the Light Cavalry have moved around on the flank here. I'm very worried about the charge coming in from these guys in the next turn or two. So uh, we'll do shooting first. We'll start with the Light Cavalry over here. They're within 12 of the uh, the heavy cavalry there. So they are going to be hitting on fours. All right, three dice hitting on fours. Uh, it's one hit, Robin. You have a single save of four. One casualty. Next up, we'll do this unit of light cavalry, and they're going to do exactly the same. Uh, two saves of four and a break test at the end of the shooting phase. That's Both fine. save, but still a break test. Um, my uh, levy here, they're going to fire. Um, they are within 18, well, they must they? Have they might be. So, sentry unit to any part of yours? Yes, yeah. they are. Okay, uh, they're over their extreme range though, and they're disordered, so they're hitting on sixes. Oh! So, oh. two saves of four. One. Another casualty. And a break test. Uh, I have no more shooting, so it's a standard break test, just 2d6. Seven, they're going to be fine. They're staying where they are. I think it's six where you have to start doing things. Yeah. I was hoping to disorder them. Oh, um, that's range attacks, isn't it? Yeah. Retreat in good order. Oh, is that on cavalry? Mm. Yep. For a seven? For a seven. Oh, okay, retreat in good order. Okay, they back nine inches they go. Commander just oh, moves. Just yeah, he, he just kind of shuffles out of the way. <laughs> these <laughs> don't really care about these guys anymore. 
mind you, you've done for you've taken three casualties and you've inflicted a eleven and pushed me back. Uh, so let's do this combat. You won the last round of combat. Um, what is your sustained fight value? Uh, yeah, six. Six, okay. So you have six dice hitting on threes because you won the last round of combat. Now, my sustained value... It's the same, isn't it? Is nine. Yeah, so it's, it's nine. Crash, it? just yeah, like... mine is just because I've got more people. So I've got nine dice hitting on fours, re-rolling one, and I've got three dice in support also hitting on fours. So I've got 11 dice hitting on... Uh, no, 12 dice. I can't do maths. 12 dice hitting on fours um, overall. So if I roll mine first, I get to... Uh, so I need to do, oh, I'll do, because I've got a re-roll. Re so I've got nine dice to start with. I'm looking for fours. Uh, oh. That's not great. Um, so four, re-rolling one for Tough Fighter. So four hits from them. And then three from the supports, also hitting on fours. So five. five. Five hits overall for the Seljuks. And you have seven. Uh, uh, no, six, six sorry. Hitting six hitting on threes. On threes. Three. three, okay. I need three saves of five. Oh, just the one casualty, but that is enough to shake me. I've got five saves of four. Five saves of four. Uh, so two. So okay. I'm not, not shaking, but that is enough to... But that is enough, so you've the lost the combat, but you've only lost it by one. Uh, by one, so it's just 2d6 minus one. <gasps> uh, but you're not shaken, are you? So that's a three. Is it going to be... Uh, cat, no, for cavalry, that's it. They're gone. Yeah. And they're gone. But to be fair, you've shaken my, my large unit. Um, and um, I'd say that is successful. I mean, did you think they were going to survive? I like the fact that everything else is basically where it started. So it's like... Yeah, well, they've kind of like... <laughs> no one knows what happened, but they disappeared and some of your stuff is dead. You've completely disrupted my formation, though. Yeah. Absolutely battered it. Okay. That's a shame. They did really well. But yeah, my unit is now, uh, now shaken anyway. So... Um, Mm, yeah, that's not great. Uh, at one point, I did put you closer to your objective as well. <laughs> yeah, you did. Well, yeah, you forced me back, but I'm getting shot by it, so I'm I'm a little bit strung out now. Um, it's my turn, isn't it? So it's now your turn. Yeah. So here we go into Crusader turn three. My reinforcements potentially turn up. Remember, I can bring them in basically where Robin's tape measure is, um, or I can bring them in over here. But once I've made that decision. That's where they have to enter. So, if I, so I will say, for example, you know, they're going to enter on that side. If I fail the order, when I roll next turn, it still has to be that side once I've made that decision. Anyway, let's go into Crusader turn three. Okay, so a very active Crusader turn. Robin, do you want to talk us through it? So, try to protect my flanks a little bit. Yeah, just in with case. With what I've got. So, that unit have come through. Your three orders off on them, didn't yeah. you? Even though they were as out far of command. As, as far as we could get. And they circumnavigated the wood, so they're coming around over there. They managed to move yep. past that unit into there, and then the big one was we did what I did. First time ever. A f command, using the command orders, follow me. Uh, pass the test and you obviously only need to pass it, it doesn't matter what you pass it by. Three moves and you smacked in into them go. again. In again. So this is gonna be a very brutal combat. I'm already shaken, I'm at minus one to hit. He's got nine, eleven dice because this guy's in I there as well. My... You are risking your commander, but yeah, as you said, it's a um it's a case of getting in there and finishing things off quickly because I mean, my if guys your stuff turns up and I'm still fighting here, I'm, I'm yeah. Still... Yeah, um, but anyway, we shall get into the shooting, and the first thing to fire is your catapult. catapult. Is that going to go for the uh, the archers again? We've ranged it. Uh, <coughs> yes, we've ranged in, so we'll... Uh... Brilliant, right then. Okay. They'll be hitting on fives again. No. No, okay. It's just rocks everywhere. Uh, guys are... oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's work this out. So you I'm have... Sure. Oh, no, you're shooting up here. Oh, you can. Uh, I mean, I'm, right. range, so I'm in range, so yeah, it's 12. It's like, they're you, fine and they're at long. You, no, it's over 12 because you moved down the hill. Okay. I, I, you were up. So you've got two shots hitting on... So, yeah, two on five and then two on five. Yeah. Uh, one hit, so single save four. No, it's another casualty. And then the second shot. Well, I need some... Uh, another save oh, four. Another casualty. Well, that's good actually, because now if I can spread some casualties over, you're going to be 
yeah, I'm only one off being shaken as well for my support. Okay, so that's not going very well over there. Um, so now it's the big combat. So, Robin, you get nine dice as standard, hitting on threes, but your commander is in that unit, so he adds two for his combat value because you're, the strong one was in the last game, wasn't yes. it? So um, you have 11 dice hitting on threes. I have nine dice for this unit and three dice for this unit, so I have nine dice hitting on fives because they're shaken, followed by three dice hitting on fours. Yep. So, okay, got it, 11 hitting on threes. That's nine. That is nine. Okay. Right, I have uh, nine dice hitting on fives, re-rolling one for Tough Fighter. Uh, that's one, one, and then I have three dice hitting on fours. Uh, so two, so three. So you need three saves of four. One. One casualty. Uh, we will be rolling for the commander at the end. Um, and I had, what was it, nine saves. Oh, I've got to do nine saves of six because it's lances. Yeah. Uh, they're fives normally. So nine saves of six. I'm sure. I'm sure this is going to go really, really well. Uh, I can feel it. If you roll nine sixes, if I roll nine sixes, then can I just win the game? Yes. That's it. Okay, so I'm taking eight casualties. Um, Did eight someone have tough? Oh, they're stubborn. Exactly. They're stubborn. So I've got another chance at rolling a six. No. So um, I've taken my stamina value is eight. You've now put sixteen onto me. The unit is just shattered. Doesn't it? But yeah, the, the now excess. excess casualties go over. Okay, so this doesn't happen very often, but basically, um, so normally what you do is you work out where the casualties are, you work out where the excess is, and then take it down. So Robin has done another eight casualties on me. I have a stamina of eight, and I've taken eight already. So I've got 16 casualties on me, which is enough to shatter this unit. So I don't even take a break test. They are annihilated. Then I have to redistribute my um, the excess casualties to the supporting unit. So all eight of these, because remember I was eight in excess, go on to this unit here. So I'm just gonna have to um, take these out. Now they have a stamina of six. Okay, so here's my disordered shaken unit. Here is Robin's charging uh, knights that are now gonna pin my guys against the walls and mercilessly slaughter them. Um, so Robin, you get again, 11 attacks hitting on freeze. I have seven it's, attacks. It's gonna be fours because I'm now fighting it for, uphill. Oh, you're fu is it uphill or is it just plus one to me or is it minus no. one? So you're gonna have uh, 11 dice again hitting on freeze. I've got uh, seven dice hitting on fours. Plus, minus one for shaken, plus one for, I'm tempted to just chuck it. Oh no, you can't do that, you can't join yet. No. All right, okay, so yeah, you're hitting on freeze. It's better than last time. <laughs> 10. It's ridiculous. This is all your order revenge coming from last game. Right, uh, I am hitting on fours. No rerolls this time. Uh, okay, uh, five. So you need five saves of four. So two Same. casualties. And I need 10 saves, was it? Yes. 10 saves of four. Nope. No rerolls. Uh, I saved. <laughs> Three, so I took seven casualties. So you shattered them as well. Okay. There's no point in roll. You've just shattered them. But I'm going to roll to see if your commander has died. Come on. No, no, no he's fine. He's fine. So that unit has been blasted off the board. Um, and why? Right, come on. Well, you've taken the plateau. I'd say. Um, so you've got some heavy cavalry. I mean, you've now got a heavy cavalry unit sitting at the top of a hill. With that, I mean that charge. I mean it is. I mean that does follow very thematically the first crusade. The uh, the heavy cavalry charge from the crusaders was the. Uh, thing. I mean you have just punched straight through my uh, my lines. Yeah, it makes a change because of the capture. That's the thing, isn't it? It's not often. Well, it's because I've got a barrier. Yeah. <laughs> so, not often actually get to capture. Um. There'll be another game. Where I spend one it. more unit, and my division is going to be broken. So uh, anyway, that is the end of the Crusader turn. Are you happy? You look very happy over there. Yeah, that was effective. <laughs> you look a bit pensive. <laughs> um, right, it's my turn free, so you, I might be able to bring on some reinforcements. If not, it may be curtains for the, uh, for the Seljuks.
Right, so a bit of a consolidation turn here for the Seljuks. Uh, I'll start with this. Unfortunately, my um, reinforcements who, are, who have been sent from the other part of the siege did not turn up. Um, that's where they're coming on. So I've just popped the commander over there to just indicate that he will be coming uh, from that way for the next few turns when I try to do that. Um, over here... My horsemen moved on initiative uh, back uh, to form a bit of a line here so I can get some shooting. My commander moved down the hill. I tried to order these guys to basically fall in behind here and give some shots, but failed that order. So we're just into shooting. It's going to be a very, very quick Seljuk turn. So we'll start down here. Um, my light cavalry are going to shoot at your unit. Am I within 12? Have I moved further than 12? Yeah, I did, didn't minus, I? Yeah. Minus two. Yep, so uh, minus, one. minus one for heavy uh, heavy infantry uh, to the front and minus one for that. So I'm hitting on sixes from both units. So, right, we'll start with the light cavalry. Okay, so three dice hitting them for sixes. No. Nope. And then the levy archers are going to do the same. Three dice hitting on sixes. Yep. One, you need a single save of... Four. four. And then a break test at the end of a turn. So you saved it, but you will be taking a break test. These guys here, um, they're within 18 of these guys, aren't they? And then I think we know they're over 12 from these because you, you couldn't initiative order, yeah. Uh, but yeah, within 18. So I'll shoot at these guys here. I think I can choose who I shoot at. No, no I have to fight the nearest unit, which will be these guys. Um, so they because they have a 360, yeah, no frontage, but you still got to shoot nearest. So I'll have to fire at them, and it's going to be in their front arc. So I'm minus one and I'm over 12, so sixes as well. Yep. Oh, two saves of four. One casualty uh, and a break test. Break test on each one, isn't it? Yeah, it's a break test for these guys, just straight up. Four is, um, it I'm would be shaking. break of shaken, I think. Yeah. Uh, retreat disordered. Okay, and there's your this. casualty for over there. And I'll roll this one. And for them over there, just 2d6 straight. Uh, is that going to be hold your ground in good order or retreat disordered? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 opposite, yeah. but yeah. No, hold your ground disordered yeah. or retreat in good order. Oh, I think you. <laughs> Tempted to what are you gonna do? Um, do you really want to give ground over there? Because no, that's I where I'll, I'll stay there disordered. Yeah. And then um, and these traps have got to give ground disordered. Uh, it was a fourth. Element. Yeah, retreat disordered. So. Okay. Interesting. That's um, while well, Robin moves that around. That's it. That's a very very boring turn. Um, however, <laughs> yeah, effect, you know, I forced them back. Well, I needed that a couple of turns ago. So anyway, we will go into the next Crusader turn. Okay, Robin, do you want to uh, talk us through what's happened? It's a very sparse battlefield at the minute. Um, what, so, what did you do? <laughs> they're disordered. Yeah, that, both those units. Catapults don't move. Well, you can move, it's just... Um, there's no need to move. There's no need to move in. Um, so all I did was turn these guys around. And you've now got command of the plateau. So currently, just on a victory point, you've got the five bonus victory points for owning the plateau. Being up there, you've linked up with the fort. Um... Obviously, you've denied me completely. The only way I'm going to get that now is, is by annihilating them, but I don't think that's going to happen. Charging uphill at heavy cavalry isn't going to be a big thing. So you've got five points for that, and you've destroyed two of my units for nine points. Currently, I've destroyed one unit for two. Yeah. So uh, you're, there's currently seven. So currently, you are well in well in the lead. Um, what do you want to do? I guess it's just shooting, the only isn't shooting it? shooting I can do is the catapult. And what do you want to target? You can target the uh, the light cavalry, or you can go for the archers. Go for the archers again. Okay, so it's going to be. They haven't moved, so it's going to be uh, hitting on fives. All right, three dice hitting on fives. Oh, and a and a break test. Um, it's minus two, but they've got to save a six anyway, so it's always a save a six. That's two casualties and a break test. Um, I'll just take this straight away. Uh, six, I believe, is give ground, or is uh, it hold your so ground? Retreat. Uh, so good order of retreat or hold your ground disordered. I'll hold my ground disordered. Yeah. Bloody, oh dear, uh, Kamal Adin's forces are getting uh, sort of bust up. I really need my um, reinforcements to come on this turn. Um, so let's uh, go into Seljuk turn four. I guess I, I'm disordered. Oh yeah. <laughs>
Okay, so Seldrick reinforcements have arrived. Um, is it going to be too late? So over here, um, my light horsemen have moved forward to challenge the um, the Crusaders there and over here as well. So trying to cut them off from uh, from this unit that have taken the plateau. Over here, these guys are just sort of holding their ground. They're disordered anyway, so they can't do a lot. And then over here, um, this is Amit. He has arrived. Um, he has ordered his heavy cavalry to the top of the plateau. Now, they can only come on with one move, so they couldn't charge. Uh, the camels are sort of in the center. Got some light, elite light cavalry in the center here. Um, I upgraded these guys, so these guys are elite, feigned flight. They're also drilled, so th this unit is actually pretty good they've been within on, on a lot of expeditions um they're the ones with the flag so clearly they mean they're more important um we have some light infantry armed with crossbows but also upgraded to be marksmen uh coming in there so they're going to be squaring off against the uh the norman heavy infantry over there and then just some bog standard uh levy uh, with spears have moved up so um my idea behind this lot was a fairly elite small force he's only got four force points to spend um and i used i put, decided to put small units in and upgrade them rather than um, taking larger units so uh, we'll see how that works out um so what we're going to do it's just shooting there is no hand-to-hand -hand combat so we'll start down here with those that are already on the board the tired units uh so we'll start with this unit here they're going to get three dice to hit they're within 12 inches um, I believe. Mm. I think they. Oh, can you just check, Robin? Okay. Oh, yeah, they are. Yep, so 12. These guys are in 12. Yeah, and be. then these guys are not. So these guys, they're still firing in the front quarter of heavy infantry, so they're going to be hitting on fives. These guys will also be hitting on fives. So three dice, looking for fives. Nope. Yeah, uh, but there's, there's a five. Was there a five or yeah, was there a three? Five, oh. There's a one, two, and a five. Oh, okay. All right, then uh, you need a single save. Or four. You should, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and this unit here will do the same. Oh, looking for fives. No, none at all. My uh, archers back here, they're going to fire. They are going to be hitting on sixes. No. Okay. Um, so over here now, my crossbows, they're going to fire. Uh, there is no bonus for six inch range in this, is there? So what they're going to do, uh, they get two dice. They are hitting on fours, uh, but it's minus one for shooting at heavy infantry, so they're hitting on fives. Okay. However, if where when Robin rolls to save, his saves are capped at fives because they're crossbows. Unless you miss. Unless I miss. <laughs> so looking for fives to hit. That is one hit, one save of five, and a break test. Nope. Okay, so a casualty. Um, my light... Uh, oh, they're marksmen as well. Oh, I forgot that this time. I should have re-rolled. Never mind. Um, these guys here, um, they are also, because they've got no frontage, they are going to fire at yep. them as well. So that's two shots. They're, are they within 12? Yes. Um, so hitting on fives because of the heavy infantry. Nope. No, um, they don't have any re-rolls. Camels uh, got javelins, but they're out of range. Um, and the heavy cavalry have javelins, but they're out of range. So, yep, yeah, 2d6 straight. Come on. Yeah, they're staying. They're staying. They're staying. <laughs> they're staying. Um, there we go. That is it. We are flying through these turns. The next one is turn five. Is Robin going to move to engage from his really good position at the top of the hill? Uh, let's find out. Right then, Robin, um, initiative moves, mainly. Oh, just plodding forwards with a heavy infantry. So these guys have moved forward. You didn't want to risk, because they're so far away from their commander, yeah, you'd have needed such a the score. And you're just plodding forwards. Same over here. And then up here. Just wanted to... Uh, the reason I didn't want to do the order of fail was because I wanted to be able to rally with him. So that's what you've done. So you've taken a casualty off of them for the inevitable charge that's going to be coming next turn. Um, so it's just some shooting. So where do you want to start? Let's start with the catapult. Uh, who's that going for? The... Go for the Syrians. Yeah. Oh, okay. did you roll to... Um, no, I didn't roll to undisorder them. So, uh, let's see, four, five, or six, no eight. Scap, so oh, to they undisorder? No. No, so they're still disordered. Okay. Okay, so uh, you're, you've got three dice hitting on five still. Oh. Oh, oh and, and, right and a break test. Two saves to six. Two more casualties. They're still not shaken, but um, well, I'll do their break test at the end. Hang on a second. Let's put the casualties on. 
Right. Okay, you got the towers. Yep. So the all at the heavy. Be the heavy cavalry. All right. Okay. So that one is within twelve. So, um, so you're going to be hitting two dice hitting on fours, I should think. Yeah, yeah the other one's just just in range, but not. Okay. So first one, two dice hitting on fours. No. Uh, my heavy cavalry. Ooh, they have four. a save of four. Um, and Are they stubborn or anything? No, no. They're just in the standard at the minute. So two saves of four. One casualty and it's a break test. Um, and then two more hit on fives. No. So one casualty and a break test. There we go. Here we go. Watch this. Double one and they're off. Uh, who are you running for? Oh, this was for the cavalry. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, six, I believe that's hold your ground disordered or retreat in good order. If uh, it's cavalry. Cavalry is retreat disordered. Uh, okay. So they're off the board. Oh, so they, they come back be, to where he is. They must yeah. be back where they start. Um, so... Yeah, if you could then disorder them. That's really not what I wanted. I suppose the thing is, there's not a lot of point in coming off of the hill. You're just going to sit there rallying, aren't you? I might have to be a charge from the camels. I'm tempted. Yeah, I know you're tempted. I need the points, but... It's a campaign the, play, the isn't it? disordered unit at the bottom of the yep. hill is very tempted to charge, and then a break test for you. Uh, yes, a break test for the archers. Oh, there they are. They're gone. I was, gonna, I was about to say... Um, I've, I've that got, also um, breaks his division. So they've got to start, because uh, I've lost um, over half of his division now. So all I'm left with is the light cavalry. So um, I'll just double check what they've got to do, but I think they're going to be slowly exiting the field. I was just saying, the catapult hasn't done that somehow. Well, the catapult's actually, been actually, peppering me all game. it's just dropped. Yeah, right. Um, and that's your turn. Yeah. Okay, right. so let's get cleaned up. Um, we'll go into Seldrick turn five. Okay, so let's roll through what has happened. There's been a fair bit of movement. Um, over here, because this division is broken, because over half of the units in it have been destroyed, they have to exit the board as quickly as possible. So I have to basically command them to leave the board. As this was an entrance for the reinforcements, it's fair that this is a, a, an exit point for the Seljuks. They've got to head off that way. Um, I essentially have to roll to order them off. So uh, rolled. These guys got one order off and headed towards it. These guys failed, but they always move at least one order towards that edge. So they're going to get one load of parting shots and then next turn they'll be gone no matter what encounters destroyed. Uh, over here, my elite unit of light cavalry have become rampaging across the board. Um, they've got the, uh, the catapult in their sights, but they're going to be able to loose a few arrows into the backs of these Normans down here. Over here on initiative, my uh, crossbows move back um, while my levy archers have moved round to support just in case those Normans try and do anything tricksy. Uh, my this unit over here, the heavy cavalry, they're disordered, they can't do anything and the camels have moved to the bottom of the hill to throw some javelins up there and try and tempt the knights off of the, uh, the perch. Um, I don't know if Robin's going to do that. Obviously we're playing things, you do, you, as this is a campaign, those throwaway moments that you might, um, you know, yeah. do in a standard game, don't necessarily do here because you want your person to survive. Anyway, let's go into the shooting because that's all I have. Uh, we'll start down here. Both these units are going to be hitting on sixes. Uh, so two dice hitting on six, the three dice hitting on six, and another three dice hitting on six. Okay, so the first one, yep, yeah, one save of four. Nope. No, one casualty, and, and it will be a break test. And the second unit. Uh, no. Right, looking around the rest of the board, the camels, um, they're going to throw two loads of javelins uh, up the hill at you. So they are hitting on fours. One javelin. No, no save. <laughs> that would be amazing if the commander got taken out by, this, by some random camel. Uh, over there, the only thing left to shoot with is my crossbows. Oh no, I've got them over there. Thank you. Uh, my crossbows firing at the unit they were shooting at before, hitting on fours. Fives. Uh, five, sorry, yes, but it's a hit. So saving on a five. five. Oh. Twang. Now these guys are going to fire into the back of this unit, no so you're not suffering the modifier. Fours. They're within range, so two dice hitting on fours. They don't have marksmen. No, they don't. They're hitting on fours. Two hits, two saves of four. 
one more casualty. So peppering that unit, but not enough to uh, make them. Oh no, they are taking a break test, aren't they? Yes. Yep. So two d six straight. Yeah. Three. That's the noise was. Uh, <laughs> it's, the, it's the noise of the camels, isn't it? Oh. Right, break of shaken, I was retreat disordered. So to retreat... Where do I go? Well, you go away from them. Uh, maybe they would retreat towards the building? It would make sense to retreat towards the built-up area, surely. Because you've got to retreat away from them, but just towards the enemy. So that so, way? Yeah, so, and you, you turn to face, don't okay. you? I... I mean, it makes sense yeah. to me to do that. So you pin me against the wall. Yeah, but not like what you did to me up there. That's... Well, you're not doing it with lances. I'm not doing it with oh, lances. Injured at the wall with lances. With lances. You pinned me to the wall, literally, with lances. Um, that is the uh, the end of my turn. Uh, we are into what could be the last Crusader turn. Is Robin going to launch a charge down there? He is holding on at the minute. Is he going to do anything to jeopardise that? So and let's find out. Dispersed. Okay, so here we go. This was uh, Robin's last roll of the dice, but not in a bad way. So what did you do? No. Nothing. <laughs> no, so I, I it was going to try and charge with these guys, but they're so far away from the commander that I needed to roll. That's it. lower than I did. But the thing is, is was, we've been saying, it might look like Robin's been overly cautious, but as this, again, is campaign play... He, he's achieved his objective. He's, he's rampaged across the board of his heavy cavalry. He's yeah, met what, up with the Byzantines. The last thing I need to do is come off the hill and then get myself uh, killed. And that's the thing. In the next game, you're going to have, or well, the next game that this um, commander takes part in, he's going to have a Byzantine allied contingent available. Well, actually, it's not his commander, it's your army. So you've yeah. got them to deploy next time. So you've got an additional army um, of three points coming along, um, which I'm, I'm not looking forward to. But I don't think I'm going to be able to push you out of your positions. Uh, but we'll see if it carries on. Um, so it's your shooting it's basically shooting. so you've got a catapult which yeah. can still shoot at them because I'm not within six inches yep yeah, so we'll be doing that okay so it's going to be hitting on fours actually no it's not it's hitting on fives because oh, they're right. open order not a clear target oh that's absolutely yeah. fine I just got just... my uh, up on here so it's going to be the camels I think yeah in the camelry yeah and they're over 12 for both. Okay, so both sets are hitting because they're in open order. Sixes. So sixes, yep. Not no. One. Oh. And yeah, one. okay. Well, that was a, a mighty turn. Right, so it is the end of... That's the end of the Crusader game, essentially. We still have got a Seldrick turn in hand. My guys here have got to exit the board. I'm, my guys there will uh, no longer disordered. I'm going to have to go for the charge and try and beat them off the top of the hill. Okay, so stuff has happened. The Seljuks are trying to win the day. So first of all, though, uh, Kamaladin has quit the field with the rest of his light cavalry. So they all count as destroyed. They're gone. Um, so it's, it's a bit of a disaster at the minute. Um, I think it's successful to say that the Crusaders have broken the siege lines. Over here, my light cavalry, they got a successful um, few orders off. They formed and they have charged the catapult. I want to try and see that off if I can. I next decided what do I actually want to be able to do and um, I thought it was more important to try and shake this unit at the top of the hill. So if you remember we said that Robin just needs a unit up on here, uh, oh sorry, an unshaken unit to capture the plateau. So I just need to shake them if I can to deny him those five points, uh, which is a little bit gamey, but it's the only way because at the moment I'm suffering a major, major defeat. Uh, so they managed that. I did a follow me order. My commander, um, uh, Amit, has joined the heavy cavalry unit, the small heavy cavalry unit, has charged. Robin has countercharged with, uh, what's his name? The, the leader? Uh, I've forgotten this one. 
Hugh de Caprino. Hugh de, Capri <laughs> Hugh de Caprino and Ahmet have met in combat. It's going to be brutal, um, and hopefully it won't carry on much more in turn. I just need to shake him. Down here, I've decided these two lines are just going to see, uh, sort of... Well, you'll be shooting. While we're shooting at you. Um, and then the camels are just sitting around seeing what's going to happen. So we will go for shooting. So we will... Uh, the only thing I can shoot with is my crossbows that are going to fire at the Normans in front of them, and they're going to be hitting them on fives. Come on. No, that's all my shooting done. So let's do close combat. I think we'll start with the uh, the catapult here. So my small unit of light cavalry have a clash of five. You get one dice. Uh, I'm hitting on threes. You are hitting on fours. Oh my god! Uh, oh, that's Wait, so. Are they elite? Yeah, no, they're elite, but that doesn't add oh, it. They're not tough elite? fighters. Yeah, they've got they've got elite feigned flight and um, drilled. If I lose combat to a catapult, then it's a like one hit. You're hitting on a four. No, no, thank God for that. I have, um, no, I have no, no save. save. Um, so, I lose by so you lose by one. So it's two d six minus one. Uh, I think you you passed, haven't you? Because isn't it just if you're if it's artillery, have you passed? Okay, so. You passed the test, but if you'd have had to give ground, it'd have been yeah. an automatic you, destruction. You pass or you <laughs> so they didn't see you. <laughs> he didn't see you off. No. <laughs> Damn it! I'm not even shaken. You're not even shaken. Brilliant. Right. In that case, then let's go to the biggie here. Both of our commanders are in combat. I, as a small unit, get seven dice on the charge, but I don't have lances, so I uh, get seven on the charge plus two. For the combat bonus from Amet, so that is nine dice hitting on freeze. Robin has nine dice on the charge, he does have lances, uh, and he gets plus two dice for Hugh de Caprino, so he's got 11 dice hitting on freeze. Um, I have no tough fighters, you don't have tough fighters or anything. Nope. Okay, so a lot of dice hitting on freeze. And I did six. Oh dear. Oh. You five. did five. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now um, I'm minus one to my save, so I need five saves of five. Oh dear, that's four casualties. You need six saves of four. That's four casualties. Four casualties each. Um, so, and now we just need to see if our commanders are taken. So I'm rolling two d six and adding two for your commander. He's fine. You're rolling. Oh, that was so close. So the commanders are fine. So it's four apiece. It's a draw. draw. It's a draw. I am shaken. But you are shaken. Um, but there's no one in support. You are shaken. So, uh, but yeah. so am I. Yeah. So um, that's it. Let's uh, let's just tidy up and we'll just see what, where we are. Right then. So let's see if we're going to play the next turn. Robin, do you want to roll the big turn dice? Four, five, six. We play the next turn. There we go. So we're going to, basically we're just going to be finding out what happens in this horrific combat in front of um, the fort. Right, Crusader turn seven. Okay, Robin, so stuff happened. Um, yeah, I was The late stage it. in the game. I made a charge there. You actually got that off. He rolled like... Really a, happy about it. Yeah, yeah um, and I missed with my crossbows on closing fire. Now, they are only in combat with the crossbows, not the uh, my but spear unit, yeah, who will add support. And then um, these guys managed to move as well, despite all the minuses, to being a long way away. So you are over the halfway mark. So yeah. just if by some... Free luck, I managed to beat those heavy cavalry. Um, you are over the halfway mark, so I'm not going to get my bonus points at the end of the game. Basically, now the Seldricks are, are fighting for the difference between a major and a minor defeat, which will obviously have a much bigger impact yeah. on the aftermath rolls. Um, and we've still got the combat over here with the catapult. Well, I was going to mention that the, the arm of the catapult just coming over and just, kind of <laughs> just hitting the guys off. Right. Uh, shooting. Shooting at the camels. So, yeah, the camels. Sixes. sixes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, over 12 and um, oh, in yeah. open order. No. no, and then the other one. 
No, okay. That was a... Oh, oh no, you can't shoot before he's no. eating. Which combat do you want to do first? You do that one because... Okay, so I won the combat last turn. So I've got five... Uh, no, because it's not a charge anymore. So I've got three dice hitting on threes. You've got one dice hitting on four. I really don't want you to do it casually. <laughs> I really don't. Oh, no, just one. Uh, okay, you need a single uh, save. No, no you don't save. It's a straight break test. I think... I think... Because I'm not shaking yet, so I think I'm staying still. Um, what do I count? It's infantry. Count as infantry. Uh, oh, no, give ground in good order, so that destroyed So it's destroyed it. Okay, well, that's... There we go. They abandoned their position and the catapult goes. Okay, good news. Right. Okay. Um... <sighs> Now, do you want to do which one? Do you want to do? Are we let's are we saving that till yeah, last? Let's do, let's do okay. Last, All right. Nice. So you get an awful lot of dice I on do. the charge. I don't. So you get seven dice on the charge, hitting on threes. I get two dice hitting on fours with three in support, hitting on four. So I'll roll all mine together because there's no. I've got no skills or any bonuses. You're looking for threes. Okay, four. Four. You have no tough fighters or anything. No, I had stubborn charge. Forgot to. Okay, and I'm looking for fours. That's three. How many did you do? Three. Three? Okay, so I need three saves of six. No, hang on. Must be quiet. Yep, six. You have three saves of six for me. No. Uh, no, and even though I'm, I do... No, there's nothing like that. So three, three casualties. Three saves of four with stuff. Yep, so you need three saves, re-rolling one. Oh, I need... For God's sake, I need to... Yes. So you saved one, That's so I... Lo it's enough to win the combat. <laughs> I lost the combat by one. So 2d6 minus 1. That's a 5. I believe that's give ground. Give ground disorder with supports as well. Okay. Uh, if you can pop me back uh, 6 inches, that'd be great. Okay. So it's time for the big combat. Robin, you have uh, 6 Stick. dice for the unit. 2 dice for Hugh de Caprino. So you're rolling 8, hitting on 5s. I have 4 dice for my unit, plus the 2 from Ahmet. So I have 6 dice hitting on 5s. All right. It's your turn. So you roll first. Let's hope for some... Two. Two, okay. Need fives as well. One. Okay, you need a single save of four. Pass. Yep, I need two saves of four as well. Two failures. Uh, so I've taken two casualties. Uh, we need to roll for commanders. Yep, add two. Is it over 12? No. No, add two. Is it over 12? No. So I'm rolling 2d6 minus two for my unit. <laughs> Yeah, they're gone. They they are gone. Um, the and, commander will flee back. Uh, the commander will flee into the nearest unit, but I think we still need to roll to see okay. what happens to him. Um, but we'll just double check. Okay, so following the rules in Hail Caesar, uh, on a roll of one or two, my commander is dead. Three or four, because this is because the unit's been uh, destroyed. So one or two, he's dead. Three or four, and he is wounded and runs off to a nearby unit. Five or six, he's unharmed and runs off to a nearby unit. Uh, Robin, do you want to roll for it since you, you did this? <laughs> he's dead. So you killed him. You asked so, me to roll something so, to one, two, one or two. That's so, my own fault. So Ahmet is dead. He uh, he tried Ahmed to relieve. Dead. He's uh, he tried to relieve the siege and he couldn't do it. Um, and he is well and truly gone. So um, that is going to break his division. I think, to be fair, I'm not going to bother playing out my team because all of my units will have to retreat off the board anyway. Um, oh, so I, the only shooting you'd get, I, they'd actually well, they, they'd leave they, the board. They, they, the only shooting, shooting yeah, they'll be leaving the board. These guys would be moving. The camels might get some javelins, but it's a little bit pointless. These guys would be leaving the boards by this table edge over here. So there we go. That is the end of the game. Um, I managed to shake that unit up there. So Robin's not going to get the five points up there, but I imagine he's probably done enough to uh, cause me some serious problems um, in the aftermath. So we're just going to work out what the points are and then we'll come back. Okay, so we've added everything up. So let's just go through this. Uh, Robin has essentially wiped out an entire division. Um, half of it fled. Well, more, less than half of it. He killed most of it. Um, they fled off the table. They had five units in there. Um, so that is 10 points to Robin. He also destroyed my unit of heavy cavalry for two more points. That's 12. And he killed my commander, which is still a, essentially a dead unit. So that's 14 points to Robin. He didn't get his bonus five points up there. 
um, because I shook that unit um, at the end, uh, right at the end there. Now myself, I actually only destroyed two units. That was one unit of heavy cavalry near the start of the game and the uh, catapult, so that's four points, and I shook this unit here for five points. So it is a Crusader victory, um, and uh, of 14 points to five. So there's a difference of nine, and in our adjusted scale, that is a minor victory for the Crusaders. So well done, well done. Um, it was a difference. If they, if I hadn't have shaken that unit, it would be a major victory. However, when we come to do the aftermath rolls in a second, Ahmet's division is going to suffer quite badly because as the commander was killed there, he's got an additional minus to his roll. So I'm going to be rolling on the aftermath table for that division minus one for a minor defeat minus two, an additional two because their commander is killed so there could be a slaughter coming on them uh, whereas this unit is just rolling on a minus uh, this division is just rolling on a minus one so uh how did you find how do you think that played out oh that was really good i think surprisingly well yeah I mean, it didn't look great at the start but I, like we said it was that we're not playing scenarios multiple times to ensure they're balanced completely they? balanced or super good so there is a little bit of is this going to work as we have it in our minds and I think the balancing factor in this one was you having to basically be able to charge you in the rear at the start because if that big yeah. unit had been facing me oh you still I'd needed been, free orders yeah. but I'd say if that know. big unit had been facing me I, I would have just been smacking away at but, that for ages whilst you flanked that was it I mean really we were it was unlucky for you that we went into a seventh turn because yes, you, you'd already you already sort there, of but... won that. I mean, the, you know, the fact that you just became shaken up there, um, sort of, I wouldn't say it pipped you, but you, your presence up there really caused me issues. You know, I was only delayed by one turn with my reinforcements, but your heavy cavalry just smashing in and just white, just smashing through. I mean, if it hadn't been a large unit, you'd have just... Oh, walk well, straight through them um, but it's a no some brilliant roles and oh, you divided my forces really quickly um, I couldn't bring my light cavalry in to do what light cavalry do which is yeah, ride around you I didn't you. spend any time chasing light cavalry across the no, stage you're, you're, every you, other game we've played yeah you had the initiative and it would have been the other way around in the scenario if Robin had um, dedicated more men to fighting here um, than me then I would have been the one relieving a siege on Seldrick positions um, I think the adding towers giving them a shooting attack was just a nice little bonus it didn't I think it disordered it put a couple of casualties on people never started the game but it was just a, a bit of fun um, to add things in it does mean that in the next campaign phase which is what we'll be going to um, in our next game which we will uh, we'll, we'll tease um, in a little while with a new map Robin has a Byzantine allied force that he will be able to deploy with one of his armies uh, just a small one that's um, sort of come out of this um, fort um, for myself uh, I mean really I just never really got, got a grasp I mean if maybe I should have deployed the smaller of the two forces first they were more elite once they came on I think things became a little bit more interesting for um, a bit more of a worry because those were my main sort of I don't want to say my main fighters but those were already elites were but I just think you did really well you just I was just never able to regroup from the initial shock of the uh, charge you just pushed me back up the hill very quickly so camel riders do look so cool <laughs> they they do they're not the most effective things um yes. but um yeah they're uh, they're there i'm glad we got them on the table at last right it's time to do some rolls on our aftermath table so i can um sort out what is happening and we find out um what hugh de caprino gains for his victory okay so um i have suffered a minor defeat which means my aftermath modifier is minus one for kamala din's um division and minus three for Amit's division, that's because it's minus one for a minor defeat, but because the commander was killed, ah! there's an additional minus two. They sort of run around like headless chickens. Right, it's time to do the aftermath rolls. So, um, Kamaladin's uh, division suffered a minor defeat, as the entire army did, so it's minus one. There was no additional, he wasn't wounded, he wasn't killed, so it's just a minus one to this roll. Um, so this is uh, six, uh, minus one is five. His division is winded. Uh, they fared okay, but the troops are tired. I'm, they are minus one force point next game only. So next game, or the next time I use him, he can only field five points instead of that makes sense, six. You, scat you scattered off the table. Yeah. So you need to regroup your forces. It didn't all get worked out when you're worn out from Yeah. Now, now we're going to see what <laughs> happens to this lot. So um, Ahmet is dead, so... I am going to have to roll up a, a, a new commander um, for my uh, for my division, but the commander will take charge of this division in whatever state it is in. So let's have a look. So it's minus three to this roll. Uh, that is a one, a terrible toll. 
The division is badly mauled and suffers two force points in losses and the commander must designate one unit as division to be wavering each game until they take part in a battle that results in a minor victory. Once they have, this can be removed. Wow, yeah, so they've been well and truly mauled um, on the way, which kind of makes it, you know, that heavy cavalry unit's been destroyed. These guys are all disordered. The Byzantines exit the, the fort, and with the Crusaders, they, they chase down the Seljuks um, as, they, uh, as they flee. So he only has four force points, so he'll have lost two. So he's down to two force points he can field next game, and one of those units is wavering. So um, I don't think they're going to be uh, they're going to be the backup. So uh, I remember that half of that has to be um, of point and a half of that has to be core units, and then yeah. half that's cavalry. So essentially, I'm going to have a cavalry unit, and one other unit, and a brand new commander is basically called up to take charge. Yeah, you're in charge of this. Thanks. <laughs> Great. This is, what, this is what's left. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, Robin. So you are you're rolling for Hugh de Caprino. Plus you one. got a uh, yeah a minor victory, so it's plus one to your roll. Ooh, uh, six. Um, fate fate smiled fate. upon you, and your division suffers no losses at all. So. Um, d fantastic. Um, so he didn't. Um, you haven't gained anything sort of additional in terms of um, uh, points or anything like that. But we do have the consolidation phase to do before we start the next game, where we see if that anyone's like recruited. Um, however, he has now gained you know, your army three points worth of Byzantine allies, and also destroyed three points worth of Seljuks, which I can can't field next game um, across all my armies. So. There we go. What I'll do um, before we play our next game, we'll probably do a quick sort of roundup and campaign summary uh, of where we are. The next game will be moving on to a new map. So this map that's on the screen right now, um, we will be moving on with, as the Crusade moves, um, as the Siege of Nicaea ends. The Crusade moves and uh, we'll be moving with it to a new sort of theatre of operations and placing armies again as we. Um, as we did here, only we're going to have some decisions to make because both of us have suffered losses. Um, but yeah, anyway, we hope you all enjoyed that. It was a really, really fun game to play. And I really enjoyed getting the Palisades yeah. out. I was painting those last night trying to, to finish those. Um, so we're going to try and get as much use out of those as possible. And also, um, I need to paint some single Byzantines because I just popped a couple of late Romans. <laughs> up there um but anyway thank you everybody for watching really appreciate it thank you um to everyone in the comments as well um if you've got any um ideas or potential scenarios just let us know and um you can find the link to the army lists down below um thank you as always to the channel members and we will see you all again next time when i've managed to well i was about to say i need to paint up more men but i you don't, don't i don't no now i have options <laughs> anyway we'll see you all again in the next one cheers <laughs>